G'day mates, and welcome to Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. This is quite the top-notch mod. Uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm not as experienced with uh, Crusader Kings as I am with other ones. Uh, the other Paradox games, rather. I do enjoy this music. I, I'm, I almost just want to stop talking and listen to this the whole time. This such a good bloody song, that. Anyway, it's not Reigns of Castamere, but I'm sure I'll manage. This is an amazing mod, so I don't know how other mods compare to it, but... At least from my general ex expectation of mods, holy shit, it's amazing. It's prob it heavily outstrips any mod I would ever see for Hearts of Iron 4. It is a complete conversion, so you can play from the War, uh, the War of the Conquest all the way back then, if we, uh, sorry, if we go back a little, all the way to a Clash of Kings, which is what we'll be giving a go at today. So let's custom game set up. And that is not all the things you can play as well. You can, of course, play during the Bleeding Years. You can play uh, all the way up to a Feast of Crows, which is uh, Stannis, Roos, Lord Commander Jon Snow, all that sort of stuff, right? Um, point is, there's a lot of fucking shite. It's a big, bloody mod. It adds the whole world. Oh, it doesn't add Sothos, I don't think. It adds the Basilisk Isles, but not Sothos. Um, to be fair, it's jungle down there, so no one really knows what's going on. You got Karth. Sadly, they don't have purple lips. Makes me a little bit sad there. Uh, of course, the Wise Master. Oh, is it sorry? It's uh, the Wise Masters of Young Kai, the Benevolent Masters of Astapor. Was it? Are they benevolent? I'm trying to remember, trying to remember their stupid fucking title. Anyway, Young Kai. Uh, maybe it's Marantus. Oh, I, I can't quite remember. Um, hey, and there's Daenerys Stormborn, who has fucking dragons, which is, uh, quite fun. Point is, everyone has their little thing we shall be playing today as, uh... Oh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. None of these people. Where are they? What? I don't want to play as any of these people. Have we, have we started in the wrong... Oh, I, I have indeed. Right, Clash of Kings. Right, there we go. Problem solved. We shall play as King Rob the Young Wolf, who has raised his banners and is marching south against the Lannisters. Now, of course, there will be spoilers, but uh, let's hop in. You can actually adjust the date to any time, and there is a million events, a million characters. It's great. There's also this, which is really enjoyable. Um, I've already recorded another sort of, uh, what do you call it, a run, uh, where I played as Castamere, uh, the famous enemies of the Lannisters. Um, and I, uh, I recorded that after I originally played this, but my original video was not worth it. It was not very good. So, uh, anyway, let's get rolling. My name is Rob Stark of Winterfell, and I refuse to bend the knee before the Lannister imposters. They must pay for the murder of my father and the abduction of my sisters. I'm not sure why I sound more like Jon Snow. Spurred on by my loyal vassals, I've been crowned King of the North and the Trident, and claiming back the ancestral birthright for my noble house from the corrupt and degenerate Iron Throne. Now I must choose a queen to rule with me. I've been betrothed to Ros Lod uh, fuck. Rosalind Frey. However, in a mo moment of weakness, I lay with Jean Westerling, and she may be carrying my child. Do I risk angering the Freys to maintain her honour, or do I seek the best alliance to win the war? S secure the war, rather. I'm going to keep my promise to the Freys, just because otherwise a lot of shit goes down. I believe you might know what I refer to. Anyway, I made a promise to the Freys. So, I originally, my, the reason why my video was so shite to begin with was because I had no idea what I was actually doing, but this time I've got a few little clues. We have a huge host of 35,000 down here. Someone recommends that we stand it down immediately, and I think that's not too bad. There's no re uh, reunites, uh, reten retinue rather, and there's no special event troops, so it's fine to stand them down. Um, we've just got a bunch of Raiders of Lord Beric, the Brotherhood Without Banners, which I, I love that they're a thing. Anyway, so what we'll do here real quick is we will not worry about that. We will not worry, we'll not push a Tejuro claim on the ruins of Old Stone, because that's a stupid idea. Pick an ambition to win the war, good. We'll uh, not create any title ships or anything stupid like that. We shall name uh, the Blackfish, the... Ha the uh, Captain of the House Guard. The Blackfish has 30 fucking Marshall. It's amazing. The Blackfish is the best. The last time I played, I got him killed by Sir Gregor, and then I slew Sir Gregor myself. That is how much I love this mod. It's just, it's amazing. Okay. 
Point is, if I die, the blackfish takes over. It's great. Um, should also mark down the blackfishes. Oh, you already is a commander. Good. Okay, so I can also command my household guard. I will do that. Improve my levies in Winterfell. Drill my soldiers. Good. Uh, teach Brandon about... I mean, I would get him to fight, but he's crippled, so... Pride instead. Good. Um, is there any... Uh, it's called title focuses. I can uh, set the crown focus. There we go, in Winterfell. Alright, so... There's a reason why I stood my boys down. As you can see here, we're at war with King Joffrey of the Iron Throne. If we capture him, we get a 100% war score. Ooh, King Rob. Oh yeah, and this is uh, Stannis, of course. I declare that my brother Robert left no true-born issue of his uh, body. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Marcella are being abominations of incest between Cersei Lannister and Sir Jaime Lannister the Kingslayer. By right of blood, of birth and blood, I do lay claim to the Iron Throne. Let all true men declare their loyalty. Signed, House, uh, sorry, signed Stannis of House Baratheon, first of his name, King of the Andals, the Ronar, and the First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Of course, I should have known. There we go, so suspect bastards. Lovely. Um, Mr. Gawain Westing, you can stay in the cells. I have a lot of prisoners, it gets really annoying to start with, but there is a reason why we want to have our boys stand, uh, stood down, rather. Okay, we want to make sure we've actually got all our troops stood down as well. Good. So that we're nice and happy and lovely with our vassals. All hail the king in the north! The king in the north! Lord Roderick of Flint's Finger has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Lord Roderick of the Rill's sexual preference. No, no, it's that other Lord Roderick. He likes things up the bum. Yes. Um, stay out of factions. Good. Uh, marry as you please. Good. Look. Have the friggin... Have you decided not to go to war with me this time, you bastards? They went to war with the fucking Lannisters! Alright, well, raise the armies. The banners need to be raised. Oh, someone else has abducted someone from my dungeons. Or just someone in general. Who, who is this? Okay, whatever. Point is, can we please march down? Wait, what? Joffrey Lannister became... Joffrey Waters. What the f God damn it. This war just ended because the fucking you're kidding. You're actually kidding. Master Joss of a, of Pentos, some twat in Pentos has arrested Joffrey. Oh sorry, has uh, has fucking tossed Joffrey in jail because he's now Joffrey Waters. Because he's heir to the Great Grass Sea, though, but he fucking... He's been exposed as a bastard. You're kidding me. Who sits on the Iron Throne now? Daenerys Stormborn. Of course she does. Of course she does. Because that just happened. Oh, my God. I like I was about to march down for war. That is hilarious that that just sort of happened in the meantime. Oh, yep, no, here we go. Her children are three dragons, who are all currently two, I think. Childhood-focused dragon. Drogon is a dragon, which obviously receives no formal education. I love that this is a thing. It is a strong dragon. It is a wrathful dragon. It is a dragon. Yeah, they can be used in battle and seizures by character choice. I love that their parents are an unknown dragon and Queen Daenerys Stormborn. Fuck, that's funny. I, I love that that's a thing. Can we actually declare war on you? Once again, uh, I I don't have a vas uh, valid Cassius Belli. Wait, and and now Tyrion the Imp is the leader of. Oh my God! Fucking Tywin was slaughtered by uh, Loras Tyrell, and now Tyrion is uh, in charge of the Westerlands. You know, a lot happened. A lot fucking happened in the time it took me. To put me armies down, wait for the Greyjoys to declare war on me, then not declare war on me, and then go back. Right. Fuck it. Okay, this time Balon. So I decided to do a quick restart just because I wanted to actually try and fight the Iron Throne. Balon did declare war on me this time, which means hopefully I should get like a vassal modifier, basically where all my vassals love me more because we're defending each other from a foreign invasion. Yes, defending versus foreigner. So there we go. So we get a nice little buff there. Raise the armies real quick. So if we just go like so. 
thank you. We're gonna march them all to Moat Kalen. March this army north to Moat Kalen. It's gonna be a grand old time. It'll be lovely. It'll be lovely. Jamie Lannister, the Ublet. Good. Phrase stay where you want. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is we'll link up our armies and we'll march on the uh, on King's Landing. Jesus! Well, all right. Well, Sansa was murdered this time. Was this really necessary? I asked the same thing. And now the Golden Company is invading Westeros. Excellent. Can we just clean up the north real quick? Thank you. Good. All right, we've driven the friggin' Greyjoys out. Now back to the south. Okay, so our armies are headed up by Mage from Bear Island, who is a uh, Lady Mage, rather. Oh yeah, hell yeah, she's here. That's nice. That's very nice. We could also go, like, slightly help beyond the wall, but the Night's Watch have got this. I trust them. Uh, we're going to call a nice enforced demands to lay a lord. It's called Balon Greyjoy. We're going to fulfill the ambition to win a second war. And we're marching straight for the uh, the capital. Theon Greyjoy, Prince. That you know what? You can. I'm gonna. You owe me a favor now. I've released you. That's very nice. Also, my maester's dead. I would like a maester, please. Okay, we're finally here. We're gonna build a fort at the King's Landing as we siege it down. Now, if we just wait, Blackwood. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, my new heir is Donald Stark. I had a kid. Lovely. His name is definitely not gonna be Donald. Um, should it, should it just be Bran, what, like, Bran Din, there we go, just so we really confuse the Stark line a little more. No, 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 no. Actually, we can, we can go, like, name after Grandfather, Walder or Eddard, Rob, Brandon, Roderick, line of John, Artos, Ellard, Brandon again, Roderick, let's name him Roderick, sure. Good old Roderick Stark. He's a feeble thing. Shit. My only- My eldest son is a horrible little infirm child. <sighs> Bran, you're having a bad effect on this family. Okay. It's about to fall. There is people outside my gates. Yes! Here we go. We've uncovered a relic that, uh, Joffrey has kept hidden away. The Conquest of Dawn? We've captured some high-value prisoners, including King Joffrey. Yep. 100% war score. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, artifact we stole. It's a book, The Conquest of Dawn. Uh, we actually have to have a, le a learning of eight in order to read it. We also have the Crown of Winter. But guess what? With Joffrey in our control, enforcing demands. Yes, this is excellent. Oh, there are a lot of usurping. The war is won. The Lannisters in our hands. Ned Stark is avenged. Northmen and river lords alike have sacked, sacked King La uh, King's Landing for all it's worth. The war is won. The Lannisters are in our hands. Ned Stark is avenged. Northmen and river lords alike have sacked King's Landing for all it's worth, and now I stand before the Iron Throne itself. Either I could give it to Sir Stannis, or I could just leave a power vacuum, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, power vacuum? This is going to be quite fun. Anyway, so we've just got a bunch of messages. I'm not going to read all of them because it's ridiculous. But there we go. We took the uh, the war. We defeated Balon in the north. We defeated his poultry invasions. Oh, King Rob has completed it. The Loyalist forces have been defeated. Uh, my vassal has been brought because, of course, he's uh, he joined the Loyalists. So it's a tyrannical action. Change tyranny by five. Um, I'm just gonna leave him be. Sure. He shall be reprimanded and a hostage be taken. Lord Hugo Wool. <gasps> the big bucket! Oh, I can't be mean to the big bucket. Ah, oh, I can be mean to the not, however. So, oh, oh boy. The war has been won. Our enemy's armies are crushed and the loyalist forces have been defeated. King Joffrey Waters, one of your opponents, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Um, I can execute their whole family, I can leave him be, or I can just, uh, judge his family justly. Excellent. Okay, Helmantart, leave him be. Leave him be. 
Uh, Clay Clay went, uh, leave and be, leave, I'm just gonna generally leave and be. Joffrey of the defeated royal Lannister family has been brought before you. What is to be done with him? Throw him in the dungeon? Or I shall have his head. Joffrey, I shall have your head. He's been brought from his cell for execution. How shall he be dispatched? Um, wait, I can ask for more? Damn it, I was kind of hoping that burn him alive was going to be one. I shall behead him myself. Your grace. His grace, King Joffrey, has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Prince Titus Lannister, will take the throne and rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. Henceforth. I care not for this foreign king. In the north it says that he who passes the sentence must swing the sword. So should King Joffrey of the Iron Throne receive his sentence from me. Yes, it shall be me. Good shit. Um, King Varys of Dragongate. You know what? Uh, I'll, re I'll release you. Edward of Nort. Uh, I'll, re I'll release you. You'll live. The walls have subsided. That was great. The war has ended. Do you wish to reappoint them? I will decide my new council. Um, you're basically a Lannister. You can stay. Oh, I have Tyrion the Imp. Okay. Um, no, you're going in your bet, Tyrion. Actually, fuck it. I killed. I killed Joffrey. I'll be. I'll be just. I'll put the rest of you in. Uh, in jail. Marjorie. Oh no, you can go to house arrest. There you go. Good. 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 Clear favoritism being played there. But I'm sure I'll live. So King Titus. Who is the? Who's the parents of King Titus? Oh. Oh, it's Joff. Oh my God. It's it's friggin'. Okay, I'd like to point out that the next one in line is Tywin. If, if Titus dies, and he's imprisoned by me so I can kill him at any moment, then Tywin takes the Iron Throne. Hmm. I might just plot to kill him. Yeah, let's plot to kill him. Let's make sure it looks like an accident. Awesome. Oh, King's Tiding. Someone has marched into the... Wait, the High Septon? Will they hold the realm, though? It just says... Wait, okay. I bring tidings of great interest from King's Landing. Blank has marched into the city unopposed, securing the throne from its would-be claimants for now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take some... Uh, I'll release Sir Lancel. Hey, nice. So who is actually holding the throne then? Currently, the regent. Currently the person ruling the realm? Littlefinger. That is amazing. Holy shit. Because, uh, of course, Titus is a zero and unfit to rule, so the regent rules instead, which is Littlefinger. He fucking rules the Seven Kingdoms right now. He is the one in the Iron Throne. That's amazing. I love that that's a thing. God damn. Anyway, I think we've got some uh, some things to look after, don't we? See, we could see the realm prosper. Nah. Have five children. Nah. Fall in love. Nah. I think... Maybe... Do we... Do, I don't think we want to go for the Iron Throne. I don't think that's what Rob would want. Oh, also Rob has a direwolf, which is great that you just sort of have that. Let's, uh, let's desire love. We want to find a lover. Good. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so we could, um, we could trade posts anywhere. Trade posts, uh, map. Where is it? Oh, trade zones. Here we go. Oh, well, there's actually no trade zones in the north. Well, fuck me then. That's not going to be built. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping to build one. It is kind of beautiful to see the map. Like this, there we go. Look at that, and there's the god's eye. Hang on, where's the, uh, there's the fingers, the neck. There's a lot of body imagery in Westeros. The trident, which is not a body image, which, I, despite the fact I immediately described it afterwards. Here is where the, uh, the hammer of the, what's the hammer of the waters or whatever? The, fir, the uh, children of the forest used it to smash the land bridge that the first men invaded through and made islands from instead. Um, what else? Oh yeah, there's the bite, which is... This is the bite, I think? Yeah, this is the bite. Yeah. 
There's a lot of body image. Just, just whatever. Cool. There we go. Let's see. What are our uh, important decisions? Hold a melee. I mean, we can. Sure. Holding a melee. That's what we're actually doing tomorrow in my uh, Song of Ice and Fire game. Me and my friends play it. It's like a D&D style game, but set in uh, Song of Ice and Fire, and it's it's the actually it's actually like written for that. It's the the game system is built for it, and it's amazing. Okay. Oh, so quite the melee in the north. Hang on, also, we're gonna put on auto stop plot. Holy fuck, there's a million plots. Just everyone stop scheming, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see, um... Let's see the, the fight. I'll watch each, each fight intensely. Okay, so Rickard Little Little uh, and Master Roderick uh, fight each other. Hang on. Oh, Rickard prevailed. So Rickard, okay, so, so whoever's here pre uh, prevails, I think. So Rickard prevails. Uh, Marlon prevails. Edwin Snow, so a bastard, beats Lord Titus Blackwood. Impressive. Uh, not beats Glover. F Roderick Forrester, that's the uh, that's the guy from the Game of Thrones game, the uh, the Telltale game. This is why I fucking love this. I got a mate of mine. I'm gonna play this with uh, Phipps. He's the lad who actually does the outro music. Lovely, lovely guy. Uh, but he is a massive nerd about Game of Thrones as well, like the sort of history of it. Just like me. And seeing all the names and shit is just so great. And then, uh, obviously, yeah, he beat Marlon Mandley. Uh, Daisy, oh, is a woman. Hello. Lady Daisy beat Harwood Stout. Good shit. John Umber uh, won the combat there versus another John. Hellman and Yorin. Isn't Yorin... Yorin is a... Uh, Oh no, he's he was he's a black brother in the books. He's black brother in the first book, actually. Gregor Forrester, that's another one. Gregor the Good, um, that's another character from the game. Uh, and Blackwood, uh, Clay Sirwin beat uh, I don't know if that's how you say it, but beat Roose Bolton. I fucking love shit like this. Just like all the names being tossed out at once is great. Uh, Bryden Blackwood and Roose Bolton for uh, sorry, and Roos, uh, Roswell, Roswell rather. He would umber, Donald Falk. Jesus, there's so many fucking names. Bryden Bigglestone. He's Biggly. Uh, and William Branch fought with uh, Bigglestone winning. Edwin took this one against Hallis. Ned Woods and fucking. Okay, speeding through. Norre, who won the overall duel? Roderick Forrester and Lord Gregor Forrester fought each other. Oh, his son. Wait, Roderick was his son, yeah? Yeah, it was. Um, Riddick, Riddick Little lost one. Sad. John Umber lost against this bastard who just keeps beating people. He's only got a 10 marshal, holy shit. Um, Not beats Umber. Mormont beats Talhart. This lady's still in it, and she's a Mormont. I actually kind of want to play the Mormonts now, because they clearly have a bunch of fucking kick-ass girls. Oh, Mage died. How'd she die? She killed in personal combat. That's the way a Mormont should go out. I like how it... Uh... Wait. Is Lion around here? Yeah, here we go, Lion of Mormont. I like how it just tells you who her parent is, but it might not be. That could be Tormund. Who knows? Um, it's called Sirwin beat Bigglestone. Everyone was sad. Blackwood beats Blackwood. Uh, Norway beats Wood. Woods. Oh, fucking Daisy Mormont. Holy shit. Beats Forrester. Uh, Norway beats Claywin. Mormont and Snow duel, and she beats Snow. Is fucking Mormont gonna take this? Blackwood? So it's just Black. Holy shit, she beats Nori? Oh no! Second place! After many hours of intense battle, only Master Edwin Blackwood and Lady Daisy Mormont remained on the field. They engaged in the final duel, which Master Edwin won after forcing Lady Daisy to yield. This leaves Master Edwin to be proclaimed the winner of the melee. That was awesome! That was actually really... that was great! Also, I'm now friends with the Blackfish. This is a great day. I like how this is just King Rob has a fucking awesome time in the north. Everyone loves me. I am the best king in the world. This is the fucking... I love this mod. It's great. I like how the first time around everything went weird as like just crazy to begin with. Um, we should definitely go kill this kid, shouldn't we? We probably should. Can we march on the Westerlands yet? We're like, what? 
Tywin's in charge. We don't have a valid Cassius Belli. Damn it. We could just kill this kid. I mean, I kind of want to. I mean, I'm going to do it. We've had some years of peace in the north. We need to upset things. Since this is not a full run, I'm going to behead this fucking one-year-old child. Yep, I did it the old way. I behead I beheaded a one-year-old child. Now it is King Tywin of the Iron Throne. I'm kind of happy to see that. Tyrion the Impure in my control. Oh, Jamie the Lannister's in my control too. Well, time to execute you. Time to execute you. Beheaded the old way. Oh, the old way. Beheaded the old way. I just want to wipe out the Lannisters. That's what, that's my goal. You know, Rob had one, like, he had one month of peace. And now he's like, you know what? Gotta kill me some Lannisters. Oh, boy. So, Mr. Tywin. Uh, we can't declare war if we have any army, army levies raised. Stand them down. What possible reason could we have to declare war on Tywin? The claim of Hollard Hall. This fucking island down here. Well, not island or whatever, but, uh... I have subjects in Tywin's court. He might execute them. He won't do that. But you know what we'll do? We'll declare war on them. Um. Oh yeah. Also, this is uh, sort of how civil wars work. So see, the moment I went on war, uh, went to war, all my vassals broke away, and then I send. Uh, I send a raven who says, "Hey, join me in this war," and then he said no, and so I don't have his troops. Oh, shit. That's like all of my troops. Oh, fucking coward! Hang on a second. Where's his, uh... Where's his liege? Edmure Tully. You fucker. You were pledged to me. You were pledged... Oh, apparently, if he dies, I inherit his lands. So he should actually die, please, but... We'll still form an alliance, but I would like for you to die, please. Hang on a second. Thank you. Excellent. You've accepted my call for an alliance. I... Wow. I tried to get you to join my war, and then you immediately said no. Okay, look, point is... Um... Have we... Have we... Okay, we are actually trying to kill him, yes? Good. Can I send for a faceless man yet? I need intrigue of at least 12, damn it. Or my whisperer needs to be 18. Damn it, no, that's not gonna happen. Well, anyway, let's raise what levies I can, which is still an impressive amount. 26,000 in the north alone. Here we go. Alright, meet them all up at Moat Kalen. You lads up on here, you're, what, 300 between you? You can stand down, you'll be right. Cool. What is this, Tyrek Lannister? Um, it's not his fault. We'll, we'll let him be. We're not going to try and... Imp well, hang on, we'll imprison him. Tom and Waters. Oh my god, Tommen's under my control. What? When did this... Bring me his head. Yes, beheaded. Old way. Good. Marcella Waters, bring me her head. She will be beheaded. The old way. Alright, he can just be imprisoned. Tom, Tom and Waters again! Kill him! Twice! How is this happening? What? Marcella Waters again? Kill her! Twice! How, how is this happening? In the name of my father, I, Tywin Lannister of, uh, Tywin of House Lannister, the first of my name, promise and pledge and guarantee in the sight of the Seven that I will be the protector and defender of the realm in all ways useful to it, however many, insofar that I am supported by divine assistance according to my knowledge and ability. Today, King Tywin was crowned by His Holiness the High Septum and formally received the title of King of the Andals, the Ronar and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. Too bad we're all fighting over this fucking province down here. Hollard's Hall. How many men live here? A few thousand at best. Can, can you see, like, a population of an area? I feel like you can, but I've sort of forgotten how to do that. Anyway. Just out of smooth over. Right, question... I can't actually find your friggin' area. Would you like to form another alliance? Yes, good. Excellent! We are now allied. This is a great thing. I won't call you in the alliance just yet. 
But, uh, because you've got Lannisters marching through your lands right now. And that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, no! No! John! John, no! Oh, shit! He was killed by the White Walkers! John, no! Oh, man. And also, Alistair Thorne commands the Night's Watch. John, no! John, snoo. All right, well, we get his sword. Now we have a Valerian steel blade, so on top of that, yeah, we have ice. Wait, why do we have ice? Oh, because of course we got, we got, wait, we have two swords. Yes, this is great. We have long claw as well, which is, oh, it's actually Mormons. Oh, shit. Fair enough. So we've got monthly prestige from both of those weapons. All right, 28,000 of us. P fucking the Blackfish is still around, which amazes me that he's still able to fight, but apparently he is. He's up for one more march to the south to fuck up the Lannisters. He's not my household bodyguard anymore. Let's fix that problem. Cool. Alright, we want to assign a few commanders who are actually good. Holy shit. I love how ridiculously high a lot of the stats are in this. Like 18s and fucking 17 and 14 and... God damn, you got some good marshal on ya. Alright, there we go. Now... King Rob takes that flank. Hellman takes that flank. King Bryden takes the middle. Lovely. Let's march on King's Landing. Where Tywin ought to be. He's either going to be there or Castle Rock. Actually, we can check, can't we? There's a favour of... Where is he? Is there a way to see? Oh, he's currently leading troops in the Whispers. Okay. Let's just go... Let's go burn King's Landing anyway. I've done it before. I want to do it again. Oh, hey, I think Alistair died. Oh, boy. Brandon, have you noticed you're crippled? Yes, this this is something you should notice. Why the fuck do you think we're going to give you a martial education? Ever? No. Don't be a twat, Brandon. This is slightly annoying. Tywin has seemed to be un uh, been able to escape my army every single time. i try and trap him once more, and then I might just end it. Oh, also the White Walkers are invading me, because, you know, that happened. The Night's Watch actually didn't stop them. So, yeah. Well, my uncle's dead. Hopefully I inherit his lands now. Yes? No? Damn it, he had a kid just in time. Well, you know how it goes. Oh boy. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there. So we did indeed beat the Lannisters. Let's just enforce our demands. Excellent. We now have friggin' whatever that place has. I've already forgotten its name. The zombies have decided to invade us, of course. Uh, with a serious army. They got actually somewhat still less than me, somehow. I mean, I do- I not now, but uh, once I'd actually had my troops raised. Problem is, of course, Never gonna have as much as that again. Also, the bloody uh, Trident has decided to stop bloody working with me. But there we go. I think we'll call it there. So you can sort of see this mod and how fun it is. I'm gonna do a, f a bit more in this. I really do enjoy CK2, and this just pushes that enjoyment to, like, the top level. That sort of ridiculous shit that just happened is great, great fun. And uh, I'm gonna bring my mate in, the big old nerd, uh, about these games. About the uh, sort of history of Game of Thrones, rather. And have a grand old time. Because you can play in any time period. And it's amazing. Fucking, the amount of work that went into this mod is seriously impressive. And then, yeah, of course, you can go just... It's kind of weird thinking that... This is actually where Marine is. Because... Yeah, I, I always thought it was just here. Just right here. But nope, nope, nope. There's a lot of stuff there. Uh, a lot of stuff to deal with. And then, of course, you can play one of the cars And ride around on horses and shit. It's good stuff. Oh well, to next time everyone, I've been Rumi. This has been the North and Winter. Winter is common. And so am I. Ugh.